Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we explore NASA's fascinating discovery that some lunar pits maintain a steady warm enough temperature, making them ideal spots for future moon bases. These natural shelters, protected from extreme heat and cold, could one day house the first human settlements on the moon. This new discovery, has quietly reshaped humanity's hope for lunar life. There's a possibility that humans will live on the moon, someday, one day. This is not just science fiction. Scientists are actually optimistic as multiple researchers attempt to know how the so-called lunar habitation will happen in reality. But even the experts are aware that setting up camp on the moon is more difficult than sending astronauts there. This can be simplified a bit. In the latest development, the American Space Agency, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, suggested that humans could live in caves on the moon. NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, or LRO spacecraft, finds pits on the lunar surface that always hover around a comfortable temperature of 63 Fahrenheit. NASA-funded scientists found it using data from LRO spacecraft and computer modeling. NASA stated that the pits were first discovered on the moon in 2009. After that, scientists have been exploring whether or not those caves could be used as shelters. NASA also noted that those pits or caves would also offer some protection from cosmic rays, solar radiation, and micrometeorites. Scientists used computer modeling to analyze the thermal properties of the rock and lunar dust and to understand the pit's temperatures over time, NASA said. The findings showed that the temperatures within the permanently shadowed reaches of the pit fluctuate only slightly throughout the lunar day. It remains at around 63 Fahrenheit. It means the near-side pit crater in the moon's sea of tranquility is at room temperature. The room temperature is identified as around 68 to 72 Fahrenheit, or in some cases, 68 Fahrenheit as quoted by the NASA website Tyler Horvath, who is a doctoral student in planetary science at the University of California, Los Angeles, said, about 16 of the more than 200 pits are probably collapsed lava tubes. Horvath led the new research, recently published in the journal Geophysical Research Letters. LRO project scientist Noah Petro of NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland, said, Lunar pits are a fascinating feature on the lunar surface. Knowing that they create a stable thermal environment helps us paint a picture of these unique lunar features and the prospect of one day exploring them. Humans evolved living in caves, and to caves we might return when we live on the moon, said David Page, a co-author of the paper who leads the Diviner Lunar Radiometer Experiment aboard LRO that made the temperature measurements used in the study. Thanks for tuning into this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.